To the latest on the Israel Hamas truce now. 11 more hostages have been released by Hamas overnight and have safely arrived into Israel. And it comes just hours before the four day truce between Israel and Hamas is due to expire. Both sides have agreed to this two day extension. Well, we're joined now by, sorry, GB News reporter Charlie Peters to give us the latest. So 11 hostages released last night, three of them mothers and eight children, many of them siblings. A significant step forward as this truce enters its fifth day as the Israeli side had complained about families being split up. In some cases, though, there have been situations where all of the fathers have been left behind. Some of the fathers of those, children's, of those children released have also been killed on the October 7th attacks. Now looking forward into the next part of this two-day truce, a list is likely to be released later of the next 10 or 11 Israeli hostages to be released in exchange for 30 more Palestinian prisoners. Last night, one of the Palestinian prisoners released was a 16-year-old called Nufuz Hamad, who had been charged with attempted murder in 2021 for trying to stab to death her neighbour in the West Bank. But questions remain on how they will deliver more of those hostages, Hamas, into the Israeli side. One of the hostages they released last night was a 12-year-old boy, a sign perhaps that they are running out of the women and children that they had promised to release first. Turning our attention now to the future operations. It's likely that if this truce continues further into the week, it could end on Friday. That are the reports coming out of Israel that the commanders want it to end by then. Last night, Defence Minister Yoav Gallant said that when the fighting resumes, there will be greater force and their forces will be throughout the Strip. At the moment, they're in the north north of Gaza City, where they've contained a lot of the territory. But to move further south, they'll have to push past Deir al-Bala, an area they have significantly bombarded, and move into a location in the southern Gaza Strip where there are some 2.3 million civilians. To keep them safe, they've pushed them into the southwest, into a humanitarian camp called Al-Mawazi. It's just 14 square kilometers large. It'll have a population density 40% greater than that of central London. Khan Yunus is also where many of the hostages are likely being kept. We know that Hamas are still holding on to a 10-month-old baby, and there are reports coming out at the moment that Hamas is struggling to locate some of the many, some 200 hostages that they have kept within the Gaza Strip. There are reports that that 10-month-old baby could be being held by a rival faction such as the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. So the Israeli forces, they need to push south if they are to complete their second objective, which is the destruction of the Hamas military capability. Capabilities. However, that'll be a significantly more restricted operation than their first move into Gaza City and North Gaza. That is more open ground and there are fewer civilians. But having moved some 1.1 million into the south and with more heavily restricted urban terrain, that operation won't be the sign that we saw in, the, in last month where there were four armoured divisions moving into North Gaza. It's likely we'll also see less bombardment. But regardless of what happens next and when this truce ends, it's highly likely that the IDF will be looking to move their forces into that restricted southern territory. A superb, Charlie Peters. Thank you so much for bringing us that very in-depth, up-to-date uh, analysis of the situation now.